Gildan Media proudly presents Gildan Seminars, original lectures containing essential information that can be applied to every facet of life and business. Gildan Media presents Gildan Seminars. Achieve maximum profitability by Brian Tracy. Most entrepreneurial businesses begin with an idea to sell a single product or service to a single type of customer in a competitive market. But as they grow, some companies begin to offer too many products and services to too many different types of customers at too many places, at too many prices, in too many markets. Success in business requires that you develop absolute clarity about the products and services that you're going to offer to achieve superiority in your chosen business. Entrepreneurs tend to be optimistic and ambitious. They become enthusiastic about offering more and different products and services to more and different markets. Entrepreneurs are easily distracted by new profit opportunities and often fail to focus in those areas where the greatest business success is possible for them. Now, the first principle of economics is scarcity. There will never be enough time, money, resources, and people to do everything you want to do. So entrepreneurship begins with an idea for a single product or service. Market forces often require or push you into offering new products or services. And there's two types of new products or services that you can offer, and they are very different. The first of what are what are called product extensions. Now, these are modifications and improvements of your existing products, uh, better, uh, larger, uh, different packaging, and so on, but they're your core products. A product diversification, however, is the development or the offering of completely different products and services. Product extensions are generally fairly easy to sell, but product diversifications can often be very dangerous, as we'll talk about as we go along. Each business has a driving force that determines its strategy in the marketplace. Before you introduce any other product or service, either an extension or a diversification, you have to be clear about your driving force and stay with that driving force. And a company can only have one. Let me tell you what they are. The first is what is called a product-driven driving force. This requires that you focus all your efforts on selling more of a particular product to as many customers as possible. Let's say, for example, that you sell off. Sample complete. Ready to continue?